This is a DVMS question from the topic relational databases. We have been given four relations student, course, department, and register. The tables have been given below, and we have been given an SQL query for which we will be determining the number of rows returned by this query. Now, looking at the query, which is select start from student as S where not exists, select C number from course where D number is D01, except except means the set difference select c number from register where s number is s dot s number so now this is basically a type of correlated query for which what we do is we'll be running this outer query which means for all the instances of this student table we will independently be executing this inner sub query so let us take the instances from student table uh, each tuple one by one and let us see what is the result given by inner subquery and we will be adding that to our answer so for the first one the student is the student being considered is s01 james d01 so for this student we will be executing select c number from course where d number is d01 this is the first part which is giving us the c numbers corresponding to course d01 from course table so that will be c11 and c12 so let us note that down here c11 c12 and then we are having except which means the set difference needs to be taken so this is a set from which we'll be taking the difference of the part 2 which is saying select c number from register this table where s number is student dot s number which means from this register table, we want those C numbers which corresponds to the S number of student. Now, this is our student S01. For S01, what are the corresponding C numbers? C11 and C12. So, they both will be returned. C11, C12. So, we'll be taking this set difference and that will be giving us an empty set. So, now what did our entire query reduce to? Select star from student as S where not exist empty set so not exist when it is applied on an empty set then it will be returning true and when we apply not exist on a non-empty set if there is anything inside that set we are not concerned what then it will be returning false so for this student s01 it returned an empty set the inner query and hence not exist on an empty set will be returning true so this s01 student will be included in our answer so let us note that down here and now moving on to student s02 for the student again the first part of the inner query is same for all so it will be giving again c11 c12 only the second part will be changing and what will it be now we will be having c numbers corresponding to s02 from register table so for s02 we just have c11 so that will be taken the set difference of and what does this return c11 c12 set difference of c11 so that will be c12 so this is a non-empty set so not exist when applied on non-empty set will be returning false so this student will not be included now moving on to the third one s03 for that it will be c11 c12 minus of what will be returned for s03 c21 c22 c23 21 22 and 23 when we'll take this set difference the result will be c11 c12 itself so again this is non-empty false will be returned now moving on to student s04 for that we'll be having c11 c12 minus of what will be returned for s04 here we can see c11 and c12 c11 c12 so now this difference again gives us an empty set so this will be true not exist when applied on an empty set returns true so this student s04 will be included in our answer now moving on to the last student which is s05 milli for that we will be having to set that here c11 c12 minus Corresponding course number for the students is C11 and C21. C11, C21. When we'll take the difference, that will give us C12. 
so that is non empty false will be returned and the student will not be included so only for two students which are this is 01 and this is 04 for these two students we got true which means the empty set and not exist when we applied on that empty set that gave us true so basically these are the two two students that will be included and hence the number of rows returned will be two what will those rows be this s01 james d01 s04 jane d01 so the answer for this question is 